Yeah, I'm getting ready to get drenched. <laughs> it's just black. <laughs> oh, good times. <laughs> Swamp balls. It's cold too. Look. All right, well, happy uh, Wednesday morning to you all. I'm going to do a little uh, digital nomad exercise today, uh, moto commuter style. I used to do this all the time, just haven't done it in a while. Take everything I need to go work out in a park uh, or somewhere. Just sit out in nature, enjoy the breeze, and uh, do a little work. Uh, I've got remote access to everything that I need for the most part, and I just uh, get in over my phone hotspot, and away I go. Solar panels for uh, keeping the battery up on the laptop and all that. It's uh, really not a problem at all. I can usually get a full day and then some, uh, even if there's just moderate uh, sunshine. So I'll stop over here and grab a couple of drinks, maybe a bag of chips or something to snack on for the day. That'll be my lunch, and I'll just uh, work away. I'm going to be going to a, uh, a park, uh, probably Bear Creek Park here in Houston, uh, north of I-10 a little ways, off of Eldridge. Uh, they have some very large day camping areas, you know, picnic type areas that are open and uh, went through there not too long ago when I lost my cell phone <laughs> and my son and I were trying to retrace the steps and figure out where I lost my cell phone. Uh, that was when it flew off of the, uh, the mount here on the Cub. So I found some uh, pretty good looking camping spots over there, you know, day camping kind of stuff. So I will uh, go over there and set up my little uh, sun shelter for the day. We might even get a little bit of rain this afternoon, we'll see. And uh, hang out in the park. Oh, what's it gonna be today? Well, I think that might be the winner for today. Okay, off we go like a herd of turtles.
should have brought one of my hammocks I could hang in the trees out here too. Oh well. I went a different route today. So I didn't even realize a lot of this, uh, these day camp areas were back here until I lost my phone out on the road over there, uh, not too far away. And uh, let's go this way, see what's down here. Um, <laughs> my son and I came through here late one night because the uh, GPS app for uh, Google Maps was saying that my phone was kind of in this area. Uh, it was a mile or so away, but I guess that was a good thing because we got to ride through the park here or drive through the park and find all these uh, day camp spots that I didn't know about. I don't think we came down this road though. Maybe we did. Oh yeah, we did. Over that way. a couple of spots that looked uh, pretty ideal for doing uh, digital nomad activity. Plenty of sun, but lots of trees nearby, so that's what I'm going to search for right now. See if I can remember where those were. As I recall, they were just up here around the bend. Or maybe that way. I don't know. We'll find it. marshy out here. We've had quite a bit of rain. Right over here were the spots I was remembering because there was a, a restroom where that car is parked is uh, kind of the one I was looking at. It's okay. I'll find another. And am I back to the main road now? Kind of looks like it. Shared parking, nah, this looks kind of good right here. Oh, that's another shared parking, yeah. I want a little bit more secluded. just fine. Got a lot of sunshine out here. I got trees if I want them. Didn't bring my hammocks, but that's okay. We love your scooter. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Yeah, this was the limited release for last year. They only made the, the commemorative color. It's the 60 year anniversary. Oh, and what, what kind is it? Uh, it's the Honda Super Cup. Uh -huh. So it's the throwback to the old 60s, 50cc. Can I take a picture of it? 
Yeah. Sure, come on over. So I'm using my REI Half Dome 2 Plus tent, but without the tent. Just the fly poles and uh, the ground sheet makes a nice little uh, day shelter. About half the weight. Footprint for the chair. Well, it's about uh, 4.30 or 5 in the afternoon. Got a few hours of work done. It's pretty steamy today. Got thunderstorms all around. It's rained here off and on a couple of times, but nothing major. These are real slow moving storms, so there's not much wind or anything with them. Which means it's just humid and sticky. <laughs> and now it's starting to rain here again. Luckily it uh, stayed calm enough for me to put the gear away. Tarp is a little wet. Rain fly on the tent is a little wet, but uh, yeah, for the most part, it's okay. I'll just open up, let them air out in the garage. And uh, time to head out. doesn't look friendly. I'm getting ready to get wet.
Yeah, I'm getting ready to get drenched. <laughs> it's just black. <laughs> oh, good times. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty significant uh, thunder cell there. It's just black. I was hearing some thunder over there at the uh, park. That must be it. Oh well, my day's done. I don't care how wet I get. All my gear is in a waterproof roll bag, so it's just uh, just me. It's okay, I wash and dry. Yeah, right there, that intersection is where I lost my phone. It was sitting on the opposite side of the intersection. It had fallen out of the uh, X grip. Sat on the edge of the road all night long. Didn't get run over, that was just amazing. Otterbox saved my phone that time. I don't have an Otterbox on here now because I'm using this uh, quad lock mount, but This doesn't have near as much uh, padding or protection around it. I've only ridden the Cub in the rain a couple times. Uh, never any downpours or crazy uh, storm or anything, just rain. It did okay. These tires uh, are a little... I wouldn't call them slippery, but they, they don't have great traction in the wet. I did feel them squirming around under me a little bit. Uh, so I'll be eager to put those Michelins on here and see how they do. I am really impressed with those city grips that I put on the PCXs for the uh, Arkansas trip after, ooh, that's windy, uh, after 1600 something miles almost. Uh, they still look brand new. They're not squared off. Uh, they're barely worn in at all. So I'm fully expecting probably eight to 10,000 miles out of those things. Probably 12 or better out of the front, maybe eight or so out of the rear, we'll see. But they didn't slip or slide or anything and we were riding on some wet mountain roads and they were just fine, stuck like glue. Woohoo, windy. Some 35 mile an hour gusts here. Plastic bags, I really don't like those. I had a plastic trash bag wrap up in my front brake rotor one time and uh, it didn't really lock my wheel, but it was definitely trying to, and it heated up and melted to the wheel and the hub and the caliper, Ugh, it was a mess. stop on the side of the highway and dig it out of there with everything I had, pocket knife and whatever was available on the side of the road, little sticks and twigs and it wasn't a good day. It's silly me, I didn't bring my rain gear today, but yeah, it's all right. Okay. Normally I throw my little lightweight uh, frog togs uh, rain gear in my backpack or my panniers or whatever. But I forgot it today. If I know it's going to be raining, then uh, I get my proper rain gear, but the frog togs are real small and lightweight and packed down just about anywhere. It is windy. I'm fighting a steady 20 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour headwind here. You can see that flag. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on and off. I don't wanna stop at these lights. I'm gonna get to uh, my exit up here. Oh, <laughs> those uh, raindrops sting a bit with no outer shell. It's just the uh, the mesh jacket and uh, 
and hitting my neck. <laughs> oh, it's raining pretty good up here. Oh yeah, and there's the wind pushing me sideways. Yeah, it is uh, gusty and rainy right here. You can see it. Looks like I packed up the stuff at the right time. Otherwise, I'd have to wait until this blew out. You never want to put the gear away totally wet and dealing with the wind and all the nonsense. Trying to pull down a tarp or tent in the rain is a pain in the butt. Blowing it all around, fighting you. I finally upgraded my uh, riding gear. I haven't bought any new jackets or pants in quite a long time. Uh, I love this one for summer riding. It's great. Uh, but I have to carry a separate rain shell for it. Um, so I uh, splurged a little bit. I found a deal at uh, Revzilla for half price on some Rucka gear. Ruka, Rucka, however you pronounce it. Oh, it's raining ahead of me. Look at this. Yeehaw. Uh, Anyway, it's a, uh, I can't remember, it was the Air for All, something like that. It's a, pretty much a four season, uh, at least a good three season uh, riding jacket. It's got all the uh, uh, protection, you know, Cordura. It's got the uh, heavy duty armor, uh, D3O armor in it. And uh, yeah, it's Gore-Tex. So it's got the removable interior Gore-Tex shell that, uh, Come on, people. You can wear that internal rain shell just by itself if you want to uh, as a jacket, but it doesn't fit over the outside of the jacket. It's an inner shell. So that means your outer jacket gets soaked while you're riding, but your core stays dry. Uh, they didn't have the matching pants at Revzilla, but I did find them uh, overseas at a reseller in Germany. So I ordered those and they should be in, in I don't know, a couple weeks, whatever. I don't know how long it's going to take. Reasonable price. They were also like 40% off, so I guess these were closeouts from uh, Ruka, Ruka, whatever. <laughs> and I am totally, totally soaked. <laughs> My nether regions just started sitting in a pool of water. That's when you know you're soaked. This is coming down. You know, if I had only brought my rain gear, I wouldn't care. <laughs> ah, the joys of moto commuting. Man, this is windy. Wow. 30 mile an hour gusts here. This is crazy. Pretty good storm. So, in retrospect, I said I packed my stuff up just in time. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> 15 minutes earlier might have been a little better. That's okay. I'll definitely be uh, disrobing just as I step into the house, though, because I'm going to be leaving a trail of water everywhere I go. <laughs> Swamp balls. It's cold, too. Whoa. I'm trying to think of what I have in my pockets that's going to get ruined. Just money, I think. <laughs> Man, I remember riding uh, as a teenager, you know, mid-teens, whatever, in Oklahoma on my little uh, XR or XL 125S, uh, the little 125 Enduro. I'd ride everywhere, and we get crazy rainstorms like this in uh, Oklahoma, just at the drop of a hat. And uh, back then, you didn't have rain gear. Uh, it wasn't a known thing. I mean, you could have those big rubber hip waders and stuff like that for hunting and whatnot, but man, that was just ridiculous. They were huge, they were heavy. Nobody wore that stuff <laughs> back in the 80s, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I would. I get caught in rainstorms like this, yeah, whatever. Just keep riding until you dry out. Every now and then we'd be so soaked from riding in this stuff, 
it would be humid enough that you couldn't dry out so you pull your uh, socks off wring them out and uh, you could tie them to your uh, rear rack or whatever and just let them flap in the wind to dry oh thunder come on while it's green people keep going yes you got it keep going go 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 yeah uh huh you're doing good oh yeah yeah push that little pedal it's the one on the right any of you inexperienced riders out there if you get caught in rainstorms like this uh, you got to watch as you're passing other vehicles especially trucks like this or even big trucks like semis uh, they'll hit puddles and they'll throw a sheet of water that totally covers you you can't see anything so when you pass them you got to make a pretty clean pass just get around them hopefully they don't get aggressive like this guy's doing trying to block me he saw me coming and sped up Dick. Uh, yeah nothing worse than trailing behind a, a big truck and they're hitting all these puddles and throwing curtains of water you just you literally can't see anything you're blinded at least in a car you've got uh, windshield wipers that kind of help that a little bit uh, but man on a bike you got nothing Thunder. How do we get out of this? Yeah, we got a lot of water over here. Not a lot of water. Wow. Yeah. Looks like the yard guys came, but they're gonna have a hard time with this. Man, it's been seriously raining over here. Look at all this. Wow. It has been pouring. <laughs> They've got the uh, machine just sitting here running in the yard. Decided to wait out the storm, I guess. And now I gotta try to get my wet opener through my pocket. Hopefully it's not shorted out. Well, it works. Okay then, thanks for tagging along. Welcome to the mind of madness. <laughs>